In this circuit, find V0 and find I0, the output of voltage and current of this op-amp. Find also the output power of the op-amp. Let's assume that the op-amp is operating in its linear region. It's not saturated, and because it has negative feedback through the 16 kilo ohm resistor, we can have a negative feedback equation written that reads Vn equals to Vp. Let's give names to nodes. I will call this one node 1. I will call this node 2. And now we can write the equations. We have a negative feedback equation for this op-amp because indeed it has negative feedback through the 16 kilo ohm resistor. Negative feedback equation for the op-amp is Vp equals to Vn. In other words, V1 equals to V2. That is the feedback equation in this case. KCL equation for node 1, but for that we need branch currents. Like this ones, arbitrarily chosen. And this one. And uh, this one. And that one as well. Excellent. KCL for node 1. KCL for node 1. Currents that go in, 6 minus V1 over 4 kilos. That is equal to this current, which is 0 because this is an ideal op-amp, plus the one on the top, V1, minus this, which is no other than V0. The voltage of this node is V0, divided by 16 kilos. And KCL2 for this node. Currents that go in. V0 minus V2 over 8 kilos. V0 minus V2 over 8 kilos equal to this current, which is 0, because this is an ideal op-amp, plus this one, which is V2 over 12. Well, I can multiply these two equations by a 1,000 to eliminate K in the denominator, and that's what I'm about to do. Let me replace V1 equals to V2 in here and in there. This is V1 and this is V1. That way we write only two equations. These are the two equations, KCL1 and KCL2, with the substitution of V1 equals to V2. We're about to solve for V0 and V1 with a linear solver. Click. V1 is 7.2 volts and V0 is 12 volts. And that is the first part of the solution of this exercise. So V0 is 12 volts and V1, which is also V2, thanks to the negative feedback of the op-amp, is 7.2 volts. This voltage and this voltage there. This is one of the two answers that we need for this exercise. What is the other one? Well, we need to find the output current. We could, for instance, write a KCL equation around this node or that Gauss surface more properly and uh, solve for I0. We could do that because we have the voltage of this node, which is 12 volts, and the voltages of all the other surrounding nodes. Sure, we could do that, but this time I will do things differently. I will not use that Gauss surface. And I will erase this current. I will recycle this one. And I say that current has to be equal to this one plus this one plus this one. Of course, right? Yeah, so that current, I naught, let me write it here, is going to be this current, which is V naught, the voltage here, 12 volts, minus V1, which is 7.2. 12 minus 7.2 divided by 16 kilos. 16 kilos. The current is going to be in milliamps. Plus this current down here, which is V0 minus V2. Again, V0 minus V2 divided by 8 kilos. More milliamps. More milliamps. Plus the current in this resistor, which is V0 over 10. This is 12 volts over 10 kilos. 
12, enter, 7.2, subtract, enter, 16, divide, swap, 8, divide, add, 12, enter, 10, divide, add, 2.1, 2.1 milliamps, 2.1 milliamps, and that is that current. What about the output power of the op-amp? Well, the output power is this voltage, V0, 12 volts, times that current, so it's 12 times 2.1 milliamps, 25.2 milliwatts. And that's it. As long as the power supply has voltages above 12 volts, this op-amp is not saturated. But with such a high output voltage, we better beware and check with a plus VCC and negative VCC before deciding that this is the right value. In this case, this is a plus 15, negative 15 volts power supply, and the solution is just fine. Thank you very much.